Who's the cutest little girl in the whole world? Me. I feel so small in such a huge place. <laughs> You're probably going to hear my loud daughter. And luckily the air conditioner just turned off. Thank you to Zeo Max for sending out these shirts. He sent them a long time ago. He recently got his channel back. It got flagged and deleted because trolls were flagging all of his videos and YouTube deleted Zeo Max's account, but YouTube apologized and reinstated his account. So he's back on YouTube now. If you have no clue who he is, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He sent a lot of people my way. I owe him and Flossie Carter just a lot. Both of them have channels that are definitely worthy of checking out if you don't know who they are. So yeah, links to both their channels will be in the description of this video. Lately, my Galaxy S3 video has been blowing up. A lot of people keep asking me about the Note 2. I'm not a real big fan of making videos on rumors and, you know, oh, this device is coming out, this device is coming out, and like a news type video. There's several people out there that do that. So I'm not a big fan of them. But this one's gotten so many freaking comments that it's pretty much earned a video response to. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Samsung has a video of it on their channel and that device, let's just say has caused some wet dreams. <laughs> as pathetic as that sounds, 1.6 gigahertz quad... <laughs> Screw it, I'm not changing it again. I just let it dry. <laughs> Anyways, 1.6 GHz quad core processor, 2 gigs of RAM like the SGS3, it's a much faster processor. I can tell you from experience, my Transformer Prime has a Tegra 3 quad core and you can overclock it to 1.6 GHz. I can back up my apps using titanium backup probably at least twice as fast as I can on my Evo 4 GLTE and my Samsung Galaxy S3. I mean, it backs them up, chews them up, and spits them out quicker than you can even think about it. Quad-core processors are not to be misunderstood. And you get better battery life with a quad-core processor than you do with the dual-core because you have four cores that are not working nearly as hard as a phone with two cores or just one core that's working its butt off. And then when you need that horsepower, it kicks it into high gear and you should it's crazy! A 5.5 inch screen. That is ridiculous. I've gotten a lot of comments, people asking me about, am I gonna get it? We'll have to see. I'll definitely try. If money permits, I will get it. I do not beg for donations, I do not ask for donations, and I rarely ever even provide a way to donate unless people ask me about it. And even then, I don't like doing it because then I feel like I'm asking people for money when I could just make it on my own. I'm definitely interested in getting the Note 2. Right now my concerns are the Nexus 7, Transformer Pad Infinity, and the new Kindle that's coming out. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because this video is about the Note 2. But Zeromax posted a video talking about the new Kindle, and he made a lot of valid points. One that I'll touch real quick and then we'll drop it, is the fact that the Nexus 7 comes with Jelly Bean. The Kindle comes with Amazon's own custom UI, and it's like a stripped down version of Android. If I'm correct, if I'm wrong, feel free to flame me. But if you can put CM10 on both the Nexus 7 and the new Kindle, that's 7 inches, that's $199. The freaking Kindle has stereo... Not even gonna go into it. Not even gonna go into it. Watch Zoom Max's video if you're interested in it. He's already covered it. I'm not a fan of covering videos that someone else has already covered. Like my SGS3 review. There was a lot of things I didn't cover only because so many other people have covered it and it was already a really long video and I didn't want to make it even longer. I covered points that I have not seen any other video cover. Flossie Carter, his review was great and he covered a lot of things like the camera and a lot of the Samsung TouchWiz features. I didn't want to copy someone else's video and say the same exact stuff he said. So I just covered things that I haven't seen anybody else cover. When you're looking to buy a phone, you should definitely look at other reviews. Not just one person. All because I say something's awesome doesn't mean someone else will agree with it. Watch like three or four different reviews before you go, okay, this person, all four of them said they liked this. All four of them said they didn't like this. One of them said they really hated this, but the other three liked it. Watch other people's reviews. But seriously, that Note 2, 5.5 inch screen, 
quad core 1.6 gigahertz processor, two gigs of RAM. <laughs> Do you realize you are getting a crap ton of horsepower with a crap ton of RAM to go with it? I'm, I got the chills. I got goosebumps. That is just ridiculous. That is absurd, crazy, awesome, and I freaking want it. If money allows, I will definitely buy that device. I can't afford every new device that comes out because once I pay my bills with my day job, that's about it. That's all I have. I suck at balancing money, and then any other money I get, I put back into what I do here on YouTube. I try to. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, and I'm just going on and on about other things right now. Anyways. The Note 2, definitely, I would love, 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 love to see videos on my channel of that device. That is definitely going to be an awesome thing. I played with the original Note when I went to Best Buy, and it's definitely, definitely crossed the point between a phone and a tablet. Because you can't hold it with one hand and reach across the screen and touch something. I have long fingers, but I just couldn't do it. That's a phone that you kind of have to hold with one hand and then touch. Now, it's not quite a tablet because it's still quite portable. Xenomax posted a video a while back on the original Note as a 5.3 inch screen, and you can fit it in your pocket just fine. No issues at all. It's just a little bit awkward when you hold it. The new Note has a 5.5 inch screen, and it's HD. You get like a 1280 by 800 or something. I don't know, I'll put the specs up on the screen or a link in the description to where you can, you know, see all the stats for yourself. But it actually has an HD screen, so it's much better than the original Note. And the battery is 3100 megahertz. Companies like CDO, Moog, Gator, whatever it's called, a lot of people make extended batteries for devices. Like, I'm getting an extended battery for my SGS3, and I'll have a video on it as soon as it comes. Actually, as soon as I sell it, and then I can buy it. Anyways, you can get an extended battery and increase that 3100 to whatever battery size they make for the Note 2. 5.5 inches, tons of raw horsepower, tons of RAM. Ah! <laughs> That was a nerd gasm. Yep. That makes two of them for this video. I've really got to stop now. This is getting quite crazy and ridiculous. And yeah, the Note 2. Hopefully you'll see it here. If money allows, I will buy it. That's a promise. That's, what the heck was that? That is a promise. Again, I don't usually do videos like this. Most of my videos are related to installing ROMs, root methods, etc. I've got tons of other videos to do on the EVO 3D, EVO 4 GLTE, and the SGS3, and the Transformer Prime. I want to put CM10 official nightlights on it so bad, but I've been doing several other things. I've got so many videos to make, and I was feeling really, really under the weather, but I took some medicine, and now I feel much better. So I'm going to get to those videos, and yeah. Tell you what, if you want to see Galaxy Note 2 videos on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Just click the little button. If it gets like 300 likes, that's crazy. I think that will be my third video with that many likes. If it gets 300 likes, I'll have no choice but to get it. Yeah. Leave a comment. I'll reply as soon as I possibly can. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.